Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to export your PSD into a JSON file which we will be using in Spine. Now the first step would be to make sure that uh, your uh, file, your PSD file is nice and organized. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, you have to make sure that uh, everything uh, is in a separate layer, all your assets are in a separate layer and uh, they're uh, renamed properly so for example you click on this asset over here and you can see that uh, it's uh, renamed uh, sword uh, click on the shield and uh, it's been properly named even this glow over here shield underscore glow yep that looks nice and proper uh, the hand uh, right uh, hand open so yeah looks like we have everything nice and organized the head yep that's titled the head uh, the mustache yep titled uh, appropriately the mouth mouth you have mouth angry you have mouth open you have mouth closed with the eyes you have eyes underscore angry then you have the left eye and the right eye next you have uh, i'm sorry about this uh, black screen uh, there's something wrong with my uh, graphics card uh, you have the the left eyebrow uh, i underscore brow underscore right uh, actually there's a problem oh yeah yeah there's a problem here uh, this shouldn't be uh, eyes underscore brow underscore right it should be brow uh, it should be I underscore brow underscore uh, left so yeah there we spotted a problem um, next you have the helmet yep that's been named uh, properly cape you have to you just have to make sure that uh, everything has been renamed uh, properly because later on when you uh, export this character into a JSON, uh, this PSD into a JSON file, uh, uh, it will make uh, life simple for you when you are making a skeleton for this uh, character. So yeah, all looks, uh, everything looks good here. One thing we would want to do is, we would want to delete this uh, background layer, so we could just uh, yeah just uh, delete the gray background and uh, select all your files uh, right click uh, show this layer so now we have everything visible and uh, before we run the script that uh, spine uh, provides us with we need to make sure that our uh, PSD is uh, saved in a convenient location so in this case we will go on file save as and uh, we will go on the on our e drive uh, create a new folder and we can uh, rename it spine underscore test and instead of calling this template psd we can call it a uh, we can call it viking dot psd and we can click save so now it's been saved into its own separate folder now we can run the script we go on file scripts and browse now we have to navigate to the folder where you've saved spine uh, in my case it's local disk C program files spine and then we have to go on the folder uh, titled scripts we open the folder called photoshop and over here we see the script uh, layers to png that uh, spine has provided us with and this dialog uh, pops up now we do not want to ignore the hidden layers although most of our layers uh, there are no hidden layers over here but uh, mostly we would not want to ignore uh, hidden layers so keep it checked uh, or actually rather uncheck it uh, write layers to png yep we want this to happen uh, 
write a spine JSON file yep we definitely definitely want to write a spine uh, JSON file uh, what else do we want to uh, do uh, yeah I guess uh, this is it we can just uh, click OK when we do click OK uh, all of our uh, all of the layers in this uh, document will be saved uh, as separate PNG files within our uh, folder within the folder that we saved this uh, PSD file in and uh, our uh, our uh, and uh, a JSON file will be generated uh, which we will uh, use uh, in within spine uh, to rig our to, or to set up our character so we can just click uh, OK now and the script will do its thing it will uh, separate all the different layers into uh, PNGs and save them uh, uh, within a subfolder called images in uh, the folder that we saved our PSD file into so let me just show you what's happening so if we go on file explorer uh, we go to our local e drive and uh, we go to the folder where we uh, saved our PSD so that was spine underscore test here was our uh, Viking PSD we had saved it here and there were uh, basically these two uh, this folder titled images and this uh, uh, file called viking.json were not there and uh, the script uh, that we ran on uh, in photoshop has generated uh, these two files so over here uh, you can see all the assets have been broken down into separate pngs and uh, this viking.json uh, file uh, is what we will be using in the next video to set up our character in spine so do stay tuned for that and thanks for watching uh, leave me with your comments below because, uh, and uh, questions i will try my best to uh, get back to you as soon as i can so thanks for watching and do stay tuned for the next video